Hello everyone. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Home is Where Our Heart Is. I'm Dane. And I'm Stella. And today we're going to teach you how to make some mallow jam. Yes, mallow jam. So the mallow plant is most commonly known as the original ingredient in marshmallows. Did you know that? Um, however, the root is used in autumn to make the marshmallows, so check us out around then for that. Today, we're going to make jam from the flowers. This mallow plant is so nutritious, you can eat the whole thing, the leaves, the stalk, the flowers, and the root for marshmallows. But today, mallow jam. For this recipe, you will need one bowl of the beautiful mallow flowers, some jam sugar, one lemon and optional balsamic vinegar. Step one, take a plate like this handsome looking plate here and pop it in the freezer. You'll see why later on. Step two, check your flowers for bugs and insects and we're going to chop off this little green bit here. Ta-da! and pop it in your mug. So once you're done, Chop in your mallow flowers. We've got about half a cup. That's all you'll need to make your delicious mallow jam. With all these leftovers, you can discard them or pop them in a teapot and create yourself a lovely, delicious mallow herbal tea. And to do that, all you do is just add some boiling water and let's do. Pop your petals into a saucepan. Add one cup of water. Gently heat on a medium heat and allow the petals to soften. This has been lightly simmering for about five minutes and you'll know when all of that beautiful mallow goodness is infused with water because it goes blue. Look at this, this greeny blue colour. Where have those pink flowers gone? It's incredible. Now we've got a bit of a magic trick to show you. Chip chop your lemon in half and then here is the magic trick. So, squeeze in your lemon. I'm going to give this a really good squeeze. Can you see it happening? So the citrus from this lovely lemon is turning it pink again. I'm going to squeeze the other half. Wow, I love this. Okay, give it a little stir up. Stir, stir, stir. There we go. And it's come back to this lovely mallow pink again. So now get your jam sugar. This is sugar infused with pectin, and that's what makes your jam jammy. Add it to your now beautiful shady pink concoction. Look at that. It's 
So that's one cup of sugar. This is a little optional extra if you want to be fancy. It's half a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. And it goes. Mix up. Okay, so pop your mixture back on a medium heat and we're going to stir it up, dissolving the sugar. So we're going to keep our eye on this, but it's going to be about five minutes until it starts to thicken up. And then we'll show you a little test to know that it's definitely done. So now it's been simmering on a medium heat for about five minutes. Get your frozen plate out the freezer. Take a little drop and pop it on your plate. Now let that cool for a moment. And then if it's not runny and it's quite thick like this, your jam's ready. If it's runny, put it on back on for a couple of minutes. But as soon as it starts running slow, your jam is ready to go. Pour your lovely jam into your container. And once it's sealed, this will keep for about six to 12 months. Make a really nice Christmas hamper present. Pop it in the fridge overnight and it will set into a jam. fun making jam from flowers look at it guys especially the mellow because it's bright pink so good so good so taste test time taste test proof <laughs> is in the pudding scones mm -hmm. tastes like summer flowers <laughs> delicious <laughs> yeah. mm. anyways people Enjoy making some mellow jam, and if you do make it, let us know by following us on Facebook or Instagram. You can put it in the comments or put it in the comments here on YouTube too. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Have a go at making your very own mellow jam. It's so amazing, and as always, any questions, pop them in the comments. We're happy to answer. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.